it's 9 p.m. in RTT. It's time to English new edition for tonight's headlines. So we have. Uh, Prime Minister preside the meeting of steering committee. For the international scene, distribution of free soap in Angola to fight uh, COVID-19. Welcome to our newsroom, the press briefings on, on the situations of COVID-19 by the Secretary General of Health, Dr. Saleh Benoita Turab, for this Tuesday, for this uh, Thursday, May 21, 2020, 100... Uh, 100, uh, 1,000 100 tests performed, 218 positive cases of COVID-19, a still contact person, three patients held, and one death. The general assessment is as follows, 21,156 tests were carried out, uh, 2,047 cases uh, tested positive for COVID-19, 1,055 uh, cases were confirmed cured, 10 deaths in total. Stay vigilant. Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed has chaired the late morning's meetings of the steering committee for the fight against COVID-19. This meeting of steering committee for fight against COVID-19 was devoted to the presentations of the preliminary report uh, of the Technical Committee in charge of elaboration of National Recovery Plan post-COVID-19. First, a report was uh, drawn up on the most affected economic sector, particularly tourism, trade, and public transport sector. The general situation of coronavirus was also reviewed, and it emerged uh, that the most affected age group was uh, 31, 45 year old, followed by 16, 31 year old. Total of 2,056 uh, tests have been carried out for 1,828 positive cases uh, to Wednesday. Finally, it was discussed that uh, priority should be given to home care for asymptomatic cases and uh, that test should be generalized from, uh, for hospitalized persons, particularly in uh, pulmonology, cardiology, nephrology and intensive care units. Uh, the Minister of Health, Mohamed Warsama Diri, and the Minister of Interior proceeded yesterday to the laying of the first stone uh, of the future polyclinic of al -Hiba due to the situation so caused by COVID-19. The event was attended by only the limited numbers of personalities, including the representative of International Organization for Migration, Stephanie Devot, the Secretary General of the Health, uh, Dr. Salah Berita Turab. Indeed, this is a project to transform the Arno al -Hiba Health Centers into the high standard levels to po polyclinic, uh, which is part of uh, the government strategy based on proximity, universal coverage, and the strengthening of the quality health services. Uh, as underlined by the Minister of Health, Samhama or Samadiriye, the new al -Hiba polyclinic will offer a range of uh, quality health care services uh, with the introduction of new services such as emergency stomatology, uh, ophthalmology and maternity. Through the voice of this leader, the people of Alheba were delighted to welcome this project of the future. In her intervention, the international organization representative uh, Stephanie Devote congratulated the government to its efforts uh, in fight against COVID-19. For his part, the Minister of Health, Mohamed Warsamadiri, thanked the international organization for migration for its uh, continued support while commending the efforts of European Union in supporting government initiative in health systems development. 
the Minister of National Education, Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, uh, today led the proceeding of the video conference meetings in the presence of the steering committee, which brought together some 215 participants who are only a representative sample of all educational and technical uh, staff who have uh, carried this major distance education project. They include the teacher, inspector, educational advisor, trainer, technician, and head teachers. Uh, he first of all made a point of uh, congratulating us and thanking all the actors who took part in this very ambitious and innovative system which mitigate the impact of the confinement and closures of schools and made it possible to continue teaching and learning during this period of confinement health uh, crisis through various channels uh, and devices, television, radio courses, digital learning platform, virtual class for first and uh, 12 grad pupils and uh, French mathematics uh, booklets uh, intended for pupils uh, in rural schools. Uh. The minister also did not fail to welcome the support provided by ANSI, which hosted the new learning platform. The Minister of uh, National Education, Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, the collaborations of the Ministry of Telecommunication, the implementations of the educational chain, and the granting of telephone credit, uh, our phone, the classrooms application, especially in, invited by the minister to congratulate him and thank him. Uh, for allowing the broadcasting of the television televisit courses, uh, the Director General of RTD, Mr. Mahmoud uh, Hared, warmly thanked it and praised the commitment of all actors in this beautiful and unprecedented achievement. He reiterated his institution's participation in this work in the future. Also, as part of the accompanying measures in the period of Blessed Ramadan, the consequence of COVID-19, Thursday 21, this morning, Thursday 21, the Minister of Social Affairs Solidarity proceeded to the food uh, distribution, uh, to the food distribution for more than 700 the vulnerable families from different neighborhoods uh, of the capital in the collaboration of the NGO in the face of uh, increasing number of emergencies, the Ministry of Social Affairs Solidarity continues to do everything possible to continue its mission in the service of uh, most vulnerable people and it's mobilizing every day to help uh, the most needy. Encourage uh, people to protect themselves uh, to face uh, the spread of coronavirus. Uh, the network of young leaders encourage the population of wearing masks and wash their hands. Uh, where we go out, we put uh, on the masks. That's an operation to distribute the pr this protection tool was carried out at uh, plus um, at the Harvey Square this morning uh, under the leadership of uh, Secretary of State. Uh, after these actions of distribution, the Department uh, Director, Mr. Ahmed Ali, announced that these operations will continue as long as it takes. Uh, according to him, wearing a mask is the most efficient way to get back to normal life. Uh, it is the policy of uh, small steps. Uh, moreover, Djibouti is total confinement. Uh, this is uh, therefore we are in an important week because uh, said that the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport, Hassan Mohamed Kamil, who called for vigilance and respect for presentive measures. Uh, as part of the preparations of Eid al-Fitr Festival, Defense and Security Forces uh, of the Capital Extensive Security Arrangement have uh, been put in place in all major arteries. Uh, security and defense forces are present in all the commercial areas frequented by the population as well as on the main traffic routes uh, and have been uh, deployed to ensure uh, that barrier measures are taken to include the compulsory wearing of masks. Several security perimeters have been set up in the various commercial districts uh, and uh, in the defense forces ensures this traffic policy ensures the smooth flow of traffic everywhere to allow motorists to move uh, freely. Thus, uh, static uh, guards have been placed at the various checkpoints to ensure the control of barrier measures in addition 
pedestrian patrols make it several rounds uh, to detect ill intentioned person who might try to rob peaceful citizens. Uh, within the framework of progressive confinement, uh, the authority of the region of uh, Tzora, chaired uh, by the prefect of the region, Mr. Hassan Dabeli, and the president of the regional council, Omar Hussein, to discuss the reinforcement of preventive measures in the face of the increase in the mobility of population during the period of Eid al-Fitr. It is uh, in this spirit uh, to strengthen preventive measures that the prefect and the pre president of the region went to the Pican 9 crossroad to inquire about the reality on the ground. They were welcomed on the spot by Litna Arami, so who briefly explained the daily work carried out by his men so who control all v vehicles coming not only from uh, the capital but also from the sub-prefectures in order to ensure that the preventive measures decreed by the government are respected. Moreover, the young Lieutenant did not hesitate to inform them of the difficulties in country through their work on the ground. The, the president of the regional council and the prefect of the region urged minibus driver to be vigilant through their journey and avoid a speeding which uh, can trigger any risk of road accident. The popular uh, rally was uh, present for its eighth consecutive year to distribute uh, new clothes to orphans so and children from poor family f after RPP annex in the town of Tehil, strong delegations of the national RPP went uh, to the headquarters of RPP Annex in the town of Mulud for the distribution of the new clothes to orphans and children from the poor families. In addition, several other personalities took the floor in turn to thank the RPP and first and foremost, the president of RPP, president of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gele, as well as the entire executive committee of RPP. For this uh, noble initiative and all of them encouraged the RPP party. In the continuation of the food project, the NGO Arrahma has proceeded uh, in the distribution for 200 vulnerable families uh, the, of the village of Wadi in the region of Obok, the north of the country. The basket uh, distributed to needy families consisted of uh, the flour, sugar, rice, as well as uh, oil. It should be noted that the regional uh, offices of the Arahman Choice is an important partner for government contributing to the promotion of health, education, and social areas. For the international scene, a free soap for the fight against COVID-19 in the Angolan capital, Luanda, a thousand of soap are produced every day using a uh, artisanal process, these bans uh, are only intense for distribution to vulnerable families in Luanda, the Angolan capital. It is part of the fight against COVID-19, the pandemic that requires a key, that a key safety protocol is regular hand washings with soap and running water. The project began in Luanda after Fernanda Rene gathered volunteers to make 70,000 bars of soap in the in per day in these pandemic phases we le we left our commercial product to focus on voluntary soap productions and distribute to f free of charges to families who struggling to obtain she explained about four forty thousand bar have already been delivered promoting one of the effective coronavirus preventive measures periodic hand washing this is it uh, for the news. Uh, thanks uh, for watching us. Uh.